In this video, for the analysis of different circuits, I will be applying nodal analysis. The basic concepts of nodal analysis have been discussed in the previous video. If you haven't checked the basic concepts, please check the link in the description box before coming to this video. Since in this video, I will be solving the numericals only. So first problem to understand this method is find the current in 100 ohm resistor for the network shown in figure using nodal analysis. Now what is the network? Network looks like having multiple sources. The first branch is having a voltage source of 60 volts in series with 20 ohm resistance. Here we have a current source of 1 ampere, then 30 ohm resistance. In next branch, we have another voltage source connected in series with the resistance 40 volts, 50 ohm. And in next branch, we will have one resistance of 100 ohm. Now our first step is we have to identify that how many nodes are there, the nodes where we can apply KCL. So we have node 1, 2, and this is 1, completely one node, node 3. So I am assigning this one as reference and with respect to this reference, Let's assign the voltage to first node as V1, to second node as V2. Now we know the direction of current through this branch that is 1 ampere. It's moving towards a node 1. Through this 20 ohm resistance, we don't know the direction. Let's assume this one is leaving the node. We don't know what's the direction of current through 30 ohm resistance. So again, I am assuming that this one is leaving node 1. So first step is apply KCL to node 1. So current through 60, uh, sorry, 20 ohm resistance is V1 minus 60 minus 0 by 20 plus current through 30 ohm resistance since it is leaving node 1 it's v1 minus v2 upon 30 and this sum should be equal to 1 since 1 ampere current is flowing towards node 1. So when we simplify this equation we, when we solve this equation we will get 5 v1 minus 2 v2 equal to 240. Then next step is apply KCL to node 2. Now when we move to node 2, we don't know the direction of flow of current through any of the branch. Let's consider that all the currents are leaving this node. Now it's not necessary that we should consider that this current through 1 30 ohm resist resistance is moving towards node 2. This is what I had shown in the previous video. So I am assuming that all the currents are leaving this node. So I will start with this the current through 30 ohm resistance. It will be V2 minus V1 upon 30 since it is leaving node 2 so it means node 2 is at higher potential in comparison to node 1 
then current through 50 ohm resistance is V2 minus 40 by 50. Then current through 100 ohm resistance is V2 by 100 and their sum should be equal to 0. Simplification of this equation will give us final equation as minus 10 V1 plus 19 V2 equal to 240. So, we have two equations. This is first equation and this is second equation. We have two unknowns V1 and V2. We can solve these two equations simultaneously which will give us the value of V1 as 67.2 volts and V2 48 volts. Now, in the problem the question was we have to find out the current through 100 ohm resistance. Now, what is the current through 100 ohm resistance? It is V2 minus 0 by 100. So, current through 100 ohm resistance is V2 minus 0 by 100. The value of V2 is 48 minus 0 by 100. So, it means current is 0.48 MPS. So, this is how we can utilize nodal analysis for the analysis of given network. Let us take one more example to understand this method better. Now, in second problem, we have to find out the current through a resistance using node analysis. So, problem is find the current through 10 ohm resistance using nodal analysis. The circuit is it's, it looks similar to the previous one, but we do not have a current source in this branch in this network. In this network, we have only voltage sources 2 ohm. 5 ohm, 25 volts, 10 ohm, 2 ohm, 4 ohm, 50 volts. Just change the polarity of this voltage source. This is negative, this was positive. So, now our first step is again we need to identify that how many nodes are there. 1. 2, then this one is reference. Question is we have to find out the current through 10 ohm resistance. So, it will be either V1 minus V2 if the voltage of first node is V1 and second node is V2. So, it will be either V1 minus V2 or V2 minus V1 upon 10 depending upon which node voltage is higher and which one is lower. So, in node analysis what we have to do? We have to apply KCL at each node. So, let us apply KCL at node 1. We do not know the current direction through any of the branch. So, I am considering all currents as outgoing currents. So, the current through 2 ohm resistance is V1 minus 0 by 2. So, you can simply write it as V1 by 2. Then current through 5 ohm resistance is V1 minus 25 by 5. Then current through 10 ohm resistance is V1 minus V2 by 10 and this should be equal to 0. So, this equation can be simplified to 8 V1 minus V2 equal to 50 which is the first equation. 
second equation we get by applying KCL and node 2. So, coming to node 2, again we do not know the direction of current. So, I am considering all the currents leaving this node as well. So, when we write the current through 10 ohm resistance, it will become V2 minus V1 by 10. Current through 4 ohm resistance is V2 minus 0 by 4. Then current through 2 ohm resistance is V2 minus minus of 50 since the negative sign came over here so the voltage of the source is minus 50 so v2 minus minus of 50 by 2 and the sum should be equal to 0 so this equation is simplified to 2v1 minus 17v2 equal to 500. Now, this is our second equation. So, these two equations can be solved simultaneously to give us the value of V1 and V2. So, V1 is 2.612 volts and V2 is minus 29.11 volt. Since V1 is more than V2, so current through 10 ohm resistance will be V1 minus V2 upon 10 and its value will be 3.172 amperes. I hope this will be helpful in understanding the node analysis. Let us consider the special case as well when we have a voltage source between reference and node. So, the question is find V1 and V2 for the network shown in figure. So, I am drawing that network Voltage across this 10 ohm resistance is V1, it is given in the problem. This is 20 ohm resistance across which polarity of voltage is given. So, this is the voltage, V2 is the voltage across this 20 ohm resistance. This resistance is of 50 ohms. Again, 50 ohms, 80 volt source, and this one is a 20 volt source. Uh, and we have to find out this using nodal analysis. So, we have to identify that how many nodes are there. This is a node since we have interconnection of 50 ohm, 2 ampere and 10 ohm resistance. So, let us say this is node A, assign the voltage to this node as VA, considering this one as reference. This is another node where we have interconnection of three resistances. Let us say this is node B. PB is the voltage with respect to reference. This one is a third node where we have a voltage source, current source and a resistance connected. Let us say node C. Voltage assigned to this node is BC. So, what we see that we have a voltage source between node C and reference. So, this is a special case when we have a voltage source and we get the answer of one of the node voltages 
directly that is voltage vc as 20 volts so we do need to apply kcl to node c we need to apply kcl to node a and b let's apply that now apply kcl at node Two ampere current is leaving this node. For the remaining two branches, we don't know the direction of current, so I am assuming that one as well outgoing current. So two plus current through fifty ohm resistance is VA minus eighty by fifty. Current through ten ohm resistance is VA minus VB by ten, and this is equal to zero. So this equation is simplified to 6 VA minus 5 VB equal to minus 20 which is our first equation. Then we need to apply KCL to node B. Again, I am considering that all the currents are leaving node B. So, current through 10 ohm resistance will be VB minus VA by 10. Current through 50 ohm resistance is VB minus 0 by 50. Current through 20 ohm resistance is VB minus VC by 20 equal to 0. So when we simplify this equation, separate the terms of VA, VB and VC, substituting the value of VC as well, this equation will be 10 VA plus 17 VB equal to 100. This is the second equation. Now, when we solve these two equations simultaneously, VA comes out to be 3.077 volts, VB is 7.692 volts. Now, if we just look into the figure, then what is V1? V1 is VA minus VB. Since the terminal VA is positive as per the clarity of V1 which is given in the problem, is positive VB side terminal is negative so V1 is VA minus VB V1 is VA minus VB so this one is minus 4.612 volts V2 is VB minus VB Vc since positive side of V2 is on node B and negative is on towards node C. So, it is Vb minus Vc. Vb is 7.692. Vc is 20. So, this answer is minus 12.31 volts. This is the answer of V2. So with this we are done with the node analysis, the simple case as well as a special case. In next video I will start with the concept of super node and then solve the numericals of the super node as well.